My name is Doug. I'm currently in operations as a nuclear fuel handler. I'm currently involved in the M290 program, the Type Y canister buffering process for the Enterprise fuel. The, the interaction that we've had and we've seen between the engineering side and the operations side is something that I haven't ever witnessed before here at NRF. Uh, engineering involved the operations very early on in the process of the M290 uh, program. We got involved in, the help, in helping develop the, the, the equipment and the procedures and they brought in the lifting and handling personnel, the riggers, the crane operators, the nuclear fuel handlers, and it was this interaction that, that I think helped develop the program and the success that we are today. A lot of the equipment and tools that we use here in the M290 program are large and rather heavy. One of the things that we use is what's called the Millennium Torque Tool. It's a pneumatic torque gun that we use to torque on the lift plate adapter on the front of the M290 and this aids in us lifting it off of the rail car. This torque gun that we have to use weighs 30 pounds. It's heavy and awkward to use. One of the developments that we came up with between engineering and operations was the use of a fully articulating arm that has a zero gravity reel suspended from it. And it makes the tool virtually weightless and cuts down on the fatigue of the nuclear worker. As we started the process, there were little things that we changed with the procedures and the equipment. Things to make it more streamlined for us. But really what we got from our engineering staff was top quality. We have a strong innovative culture on our team. Many of us come from different careers and backgrounds. Each one brings a different quality and skill. This was used in the startup process to create the highly productive program that we are today.